Hey, I'm Rafal from MobileMVP.app. In this video, I will describe the mobile application project which was requested by one of our clients. Keep in mind, it's not the final product. It's only a prototype which is used to get more attention and investment in this project. So here you can see the showcase video of this app. It has a clean design and smooth animations. The pages are pretty simple. The animations might appear complicated at first glance, but they aren't too difficult to implement. Firstly, let's take a look at the designs of the app's pages. The first page contains a few text widgets, a text field, a menu button, and a list view with thumbnails of cities. In Zeppelin, you can look up every parameter for each item. For instance, we can get information about the font type and font color of this particular text. The next page displays an individual city. There you have the same kind of widgets as on the previous page. The menu page is even simpler. It contains only the user's avatar and few text. Here is how it looks on a real device. This is the first page, the second page, and the main menu page. Now, let's dive into code. To create a menu sliding effect, I use stack, which is composed of two widgets. The first widget is the menu page, and the second widget is simply the rest of the application. This way, you can easily translate the menu page and the rest of the application independently. Now, we'll look at the transition between the first page and the individual city page. I run the app with time dilation set to 10 to slow down the animation. There are a lot of things going on in this transition. The first thing you can see is photo animation. It goes from thumbnail to full size image. There is a text transition from the city name to the city's description. There is this, the best offers widget that goes up from the bottom of the screen. Also, the city thumbnails go out of the screen during the transition. I implemented this transition using an overlay. I have this function which returns an overlay entry. This function requires many parameters, because we have to know the starting and the ending position of widgets we want to animate. And here is the widget stack we return in Overlay Entries Builder. In the next videos, we're gonna talk about other apps and also the future development of the app shown in this video. If you don't want to miss it, subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.